Hello my soccer universe. This is gonna be a slightly different video. It's my first jersey maintenance video. I recently got this well yesterday I got this Atletico Madrid shirt uh for really cheap because I the guy wanted to have five euros for it and I looked at it and I just show you there are some grass stains on it here. This is on the back. This is the worst one. Uh there are a, a few more. It's also on the sides, not on the side, on the other side. I mean, if you look at this, I said this is a little bit too stained for my liking since I'm a collector. I was um, five euros too much and he gave it to me for two euros. Euros. Why, why do I say euro? Because that's what we say in German. And so I decided, okay, I'll take it. And I did a little bit search on the internet. Sorry for moving the cam camera. Uh, on how to remove the grass stains, and one of the uh, tools suggested is this: a toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm gonna try this now, and I'll keep track of the results. And let's see whether we'll get a clean shirt soon. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we are. This is same room, just the work side of it. I'm gonna tackle at first this big stains here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this now uh, how you brush your teeth I'm taking the toothpaste put it on the toothbrush I made the toothbrush wet because uh, I want to have a little bit liquid on there and what I'm gonna do is I put this now I'm gonna be careful to mainly do it on the white but you know I don't think it will discolor the red either so and I'm just gonna put this on here I'm gonna rub it nicely in let's see how it goes just in the camera so and this is the, a really tough stain I tried it before on a slightly uh, slimmer one where it didn't where it actually went away and at least the stain is brightening already i might want to get a little bit more water to get this in but you really want to work the toothpaste nicely into the fabric so and believe me um as much as I like wearing the shirts, taking care of them is also a fun part, honestly, that I truly enjoy doing. Well, I'll take a little bit more. Just a teeny bit more. On there. So, and I'm gonna put this on. I just have to check on my girls who are playing in the next room and they're making a mess. Okay, so while I was taking uh, care that the kids are behaving, I have worked this a little bit more and honestly, the stain is still there, but it is a lot lighter already. Uh, it is a lot, it is work, it is work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this now a little bit more. I mean, look at it. I hope from uh, you can say from before, at least I feel that this stain is already a lot, lot lighter. So who would have thought toothbrush? There are other methods, but I first want to try and see what I can do with just the toothbrush on these stains. And then we'll take it from there. I'll keep you updated. Talk soon. So I've worked it for a good half an hour, hour. I've worked on stains. I want to show you the big stain here on the back. I mean, it is light. It's not still there, right here, but it's a lot lighter. Uh, similarly, the ones that were here uh, got a lot lighter. Um, I think even here. I mean, you still can see that there's slight staining there, but. Uh, it is much better. What I do now next is um, I put some ox gall soap here on the side, on this part, and you can already see that this has removed. The one thing about this ox gall soap is they say you sh it should not come on the color, which is difficult here. 
uh, but I really moved it only on the uh, this white stripe and I want to see I uh, have let it soak had the, the I put the soap as a liquid soap directly on there uh, for about 15 minutes and now I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna put this a whole thing um, I will hand wash it for now because I may have to still work on it but I will hand wash this now for a while and uh, let's see what the results will be and I'll come back to you but I'm hopeful that this shirt will be one it will be not super clean uh, might take some more work um, but I'll get there see you soon so while well, the Atletico Madrid shirt is soaking uh, just put it to wash I thought I'd talk about something else. Um, I also got yesterday this wonderful 98 Netherlands shirt and I worked on it yesterday. I have a little bit regret I should have done it uh, while filming but when I bought this shirt uh, it was given to me for 12 bucks because A the seller thought this is old and therefore has no worth which is stupid because this is in super tip-top shape and there was also here on the front and I probably he sent me pictures and I will post one of those pictures there was across the front here uh, pretty much on the center there was a uh, ballpoint pen mark um, it was about this size so I mean a good five to ten centimeters uh, you know two two to four inches and you know the first thing I thought a I was very confident that I will be able to get this one out uh, just because I know that those stains there is a chance and one of my first things to always try is a little bit soap over the stain especially if you have a fresh stain soap over is uh, the best thing and then quickly wash it off uh, as the quicker you are the easier the stains go out yesterday on my night on one of my uh, hockey shirts uh, avocado piece fell uh, fell on the crest I went immediately, washed it, uh, there's no stain anymore. Um, but the next thing is to try some uh, alcohol, vinegar, high percent stuff. And that was what I did. I used uh, isopropyl. Here's the, cam the camera. Isopropyl, I mean, this is not in German, so uh, it's rubbing alcohol. I just took the, uh, the swab out, rubbed it over there. Within two minutes, stain was history. So, therefore, I feel quite comfy with this one. I mean, yes, it's not perfect, but it is stainless in pretty good condition. And the shirt, my first uh, World Cup 98 shirt. So I'm very happy about all that. So, um, you know, if people sell your shirts uh, cheap because they're stained, usually you can do something about it. I'm going to show you how the Atletico Madrid shirt looks like after it's washed and dried. But I feel quite comfy uh, with this and I probably will work a little bit more and try a bit more and I'll keep you posted on that. But yeah, it's my first video on jersey maintenance. Um, sometimes you just gotta do it and you have, you can even get used shirts in pretty good condition with some minor flaws. You can usually, usually repair it and have a decent shirt. Yes, it's not mint condition, but you don't always need, at least I don't require this standard. I just want to have as many as possible for as many different things. This shirt here, I also found out that here on the side there are some stains, but you know, I'm gonna work on those too. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. With, we'll see the result of the Atletico okay. shirt. Okay, let's see the result of the cleanup. I want to show you especially one really dirty spot on the side of the shirt. We have here a before picture. And here is the after picture. Um, fortunately, the after picture was not at daylight anymore, so it's a little bit darker. But I hope you can see already that the stains got a lot, lot, lot less. And let's now look at the shirt itself. I mean, I have not treated all the stains, but I wanted to show you the ones that I did treat. So this is the shirt, of course. Um, it had here some stains on the side that I don't know if you can see anything anymore. It's very, very subtly. It's still there. You can probably, I can see here. Here, maybe you can make out a little bit where I also did with the toothpaste, but uh, they're pretty much gone. 
what I'm most happy about is what I did here on the back. Um, these two white panels, they had a really big stains. You barely see them anymore. I think there is one right here. I'm not sure if this is visible. Yes, it is. There's one slightly here, one slightly here. So a huge improvement. And then we look at the side. This is the clean side. This was the right side. That was the dirty one. Um, absolutely. I mean, yes, there is still some there, but it's barely noticeable anymore. So I would call this for now a success. I'll keep on working on it to really remove all the stains. But uh, for a first try, I spent maybe uh, pure cleaning, I would say 45 minutes on it. Then I had it in a hand wash basket for about with detergent for about two to three hours. Let it soak there. Then I put it in the washer, uh, not on a washer, but just to rinse it and um, spin and that's the result i mean i'm quite happy with that yes if i look here there are still some minor spots that i would like to work on but nothing that you can really see so i'm really pleased with the end result of cleaning this shirt and yeah i already told you the orange shirt the netherlands jersey also so yeah two ways if you have grass spots, I mean the best, I have to say it, if they are fresh, they are they're more easily cleanable. Absolutely, you need to put less work in. Don't put them in the washer, treat them right away. Uh, usually it can also do with just soap, uh, but there are other ways that you can uh, treat it with. I think there's lemon, there's alcohol, there's uh, vinegar, that always will work quite nicely on fresh stains. Fresh stains you can get almost surely out and the nice thing about soccer shirts is that they are so easily treatable. This is a very forgiving material, you can get almost anything out. The only thing you should not do, do not wash them warm. But uh, do, and do not put them in a dryer at all. They dry anyway so quickly, I mean that, that, that's the other thing I like. I mean I love to wear soccer shirts because uh, even if I'm out in the rain they dry in no time. So um, that's a big plus. But yeah, if you can wash them immediately take care of the stain as soon as possible and treat it just put soap over it put uh some other stuff that can get 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 rid of stains just treat it as fast as possible and even if you have old stains and i'm sure they're older than a month i would even say a lot older than that i showed you it can get out so um and i'll keep on working on it i want to have this shirt stain free that's just the idiot that i am but yeah it's possible. So let me know if you have any tips of jersey uh, maintenance. I'm gonna make this a regular. If I find anything else that I want to repair or you know fix, I will show you and I will make another video on that and put it in this nice playlist that I create jersey maintenance. Let me know in the comments uh, below what you thought about my cleaning efforts and how successful and unsuccessful you find it is. I think it's a success personally for me. And yeah, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these or about my collection, about my thoughts on soccer uh, in general. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day